Hello my friends and welcome to the Reverse Collapse Codename Bakery campaign. I've been looking forward to this, actually. I honestly, I have been. This, uh, when I did my first impressions video of this, this felt like a really good game. And, uh, I decided that I would just sit down and play it. This is, uh, sponsored campaign, thanks to, uh, Starsign. So, uh, let's get stuck in. Now, this is the first, this is the first, uh, video, the first episode. But I just want to say, I am loading, um... I'm loading the save game from the first impressions video, where I played 51 minutes. Because uh, I'm, I'm already playing on the hardest difficulty, which I'll, I will show you guys anyway. I just feel like there's no point in repeating the tutorial missions, so... If you want to see the game from the very beginning, please check out my co uh, Reverse Collapse Codename Bakery First Impressions video. You can just search for it. It's also in the First Impressions playlist. Um, because I just, I don't want to repeat the tutorial missions for no good reason. Oh, replay! Antarctic Union, I don't know if I can just move my... So I am cutting into the text a little bit here, and I have moved a bit. Let me just move a bit more. There we go. Um... The Target Union against Mendo was ambushed and lost consciousness while carrying out Operation Bakery in the North Corsicus region. Wow, this music got really loud. I'll change that in a minute. The UNRC were expanding their search radius with the assistance of Crane, a mole in the Arctic Union, had planted among the enemy's ranks. The two were able to avoid being captured and came up with an escape plan. As the snowfall intensified, Mendo realized that trekking down the mountain on foot was too dangerous. He suggested crossing a bridge and hitching a ride with refugee transport. Man, this music's really loud. That's nice that there's a little, uh, if you load a save game, you get a little catch up. Yeah, so I mean, I'm already playing on the hardest difficulty, which is challenge. There's also standard, casual, and casual cubed. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just call this one story or something, but there's there's casual cubed difficulty. Uh, oh, the resolution's wrong. Oh no, that's as high as it goes for this. Okay, fine. Ah, my music. My music settings have been forgotten. That's fine. Okay. I'm looking forward to this. Let's rumble. Uh, I think at the end of the first impressions video, I already went through everything. I don't think there's really anything I can change anyway. Increase evasion by 10 when there are enemy units present within four tiles. Upon taking lethal damage, does not enter critical condition, but instead recovers to full HP, can triggers once per battle. Wow, that's really powerful. Huh. That's, that's a very powerful ability. Okay. That's interesting to know. The guy is bullet absorbent. Battlefield information provides basic information about the next battle. By entering field survey via the thumbnail, specific terrain and enemy unit information can be viewed on the map. Ha! Huh. Would you look at that! For the first time I've seen in a turn-based game, you can actually prepare for the next mission without actually seeing the next mission. Without actually just going to it and looking around. There's a lot of loot around here, on the first bit. Looks like your two main characters are surrounded to begin with. Let's go! 
I, I'm, you know, when I was playing this during the first impressions video, I did say like the gameplay just felt really smooth. So I am, uh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's assess the surrounding area. Berlin Sky. It's our turn to be on duty at the foot of the mountain today. Right, let's go. <coughs> the bridge is the only way across the valley. There are people guarding the bridgehead. By comparison, the outpost won't give us much trouble. You can use stealth to pass them carefully while most of the troops are out on patrol. What are your thoughts? There's a control turn on each side of the bridge, if I'm not mistaken. We should be able to control how the bridge is hoisted. Destroy the terminal on this side of the bridge before we cross. When spotted, we can stop most of our pursuers by raising the bridge when we're on the other side. But first, we need to get the passcode for the control terminal. This won't be a problem for the agent of the Arctic Union, right? There are consoles inside the outpost. We can hack them to get the passcode. We don't know which one it's stored in. We'll have to search them one by one. Alright, let's split up and move quickly. Wait, there aren't many people in the outpost. Don't let your guard down. Pay attention to their visual range. If you find yourself in a tight spot, use it to take out the enemy quietly. Soporic Dark. It can only be used when a unit is not exposed. Place a selected enemy human unit into a long-term state of asleep with a reduction of 50 invasion. When did you get your hands on these? I attempted to synthesize some using chemicals after the material shuttle was repaired, but quantity is limited for now. Use them sparingly. Mm -hmm. Bonus objectives, no idea. That's really unhelpful. Warm yourself up first. The front line reports indicated targets may have escaped from the timing. They may be nearby. Catching them would be a great feat. This means that he detects out to two tiles, in which case she would be spotted here. It's kind of obvious that he's supposed to go here. Okay. 
well they don't move so that's not a problem. I need to understand whether it's just these tiles that detects these uh, cross tiles or whether it's the yellow tiles as well whether those detect through trees He only seems to have a short detection range. I think these are the correct moves. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah, he doesn't detect from there. Go down here, go here, and then go here. I must admit, I'm not the hugest fan of stealth missions. I always find them to be really annoying. The game, the game at least is giving you the tools you need to make a solid guess as to where to be. I guess because he's a scout. It's class based. So far, so good. Sight range as to you, you'll be here next turn. And I'll be gone. I'll do a quick save because no one wants to be uh no one wants to lose a load of playtime because they got detected. But um You know, for a once in a turn-based game, stealth actually feels fair. I mean, I am being given all the information. You don't move, you don't move. Your visual range is only this far. I think I can reasonably go here, actually. Yep. Might as well. 
He's on his way to here. I need to clear him. He'll detect here and here. And he'll detect here and here. So the safe position is here. Know that we are sneaking. I'm guessing I need to use the dart to get past this guy. Because he's blocking the, uh, he's blocking the doorway. now because he would come down and detect me I gotta get it in between oh that wasn't even marked as an item Got it. Time for your shift. Break time sure does fly by. Back to the mountains we go. The snow is getting lighter. We need to hurry up. Wait, there's movement up ahead. Shift change. Anything suspicious in the previous patrol? No, but even if there were, all traces would be covered by all the damn snow. Achoo! <clears throat> Keep your voice down. If the captain hears you say that, you'll be dead meat. Right, enough chit chat. We'd better be off. This is our chance. Let's sneak past our way past on the side. This position's not bad. I'll scout the area near the bridge first. Crossing is guarded by a few scouts. I don't think we can avoid them. I see the terminal. Be able to unlock the barricade once we enter the passcode at the terminal. Uh-oh. Attention all units! Suspicious individual spotted on the west side of the bridge. Pursue immediately. Mm -hmm. 
Bonus objectives. No allied units enter critical condition. All allied units reach specified position within three turns. Three turns? Enemy unit passes through the trigger area, deal 50 damage to enemy units within the area of effect. turns to get where bloop 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 GP if I got left. Four. Pew pew time. AP is exactly how much AP I have left. Dusty! Danger range, look at this man, they're everywhere. No avoiding that one. Okay, well, I killed who I could. Oh man, are we really going to have to wait for all of these guys to come after us? Okay, I guess not. Two turns left. should just be able to leg it across next turn.
Holy crap! He's got some serious movement on him. Okay, well that's me dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, so close to. This was turn four I saved on. Should have saved a while ago. I can't. Or can I? I gotta wait for this guy to come down and then wait for me to go back up again. I guess the toolbox I found, I've still got. Which is weird. The other item I found here is also, I've still got it. I can see my inventory anywhere. Did I miss out on the toolkit that I found last time? Maybe it was specifically him that needed to be there, that needed to be on this spot. Okay, 
that's just three goons over there. Okay, I don't think there's anything additional I can do here. You ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Commando. They got a lot of movement, for sure. There's only scouts this way, so maybe I can just run for it. Item synthesis costs one AP. What's the movement on this guy? Enormous. Frag grenades, okay. He only reaches there. Two, three. Three AP to get out of range. to guarantee that I get him.
Okay, I think that does it. As long as he hits this, he's out of range. And he hits this, I'm, I should be good to go. Busty! Ooh, he wasn't out of range. Somehow. That's a problem. Oh, they didn't move. I need. All right, we made it. didn't count. I guess I actually have to be on this bit rather than passing through it. Okay, that's fine. You can be that specific game. I'm learning. These guys don't seem to move, for whatever reason. I was playing as if they moved, but they don't move. So that makes life easy. Leaves me with enough AP for one shot. Okay, there we go. They both have to be exactly on the spot, not past it. So, that's fine. Raise the bridge quickly! Uh oh. They've raised the bridge. The terminal on this side is also destroyed. We can't get across. Captain, please advise. Team 3 is in position. We're moving out. Ah, oh, that's a lot of dudes. The URNC is sub barricades and sand piles here. We can use them as cover to take the nearby enemies. Defeat two enemy units using a turret. Items obtained. Damage firearm, 50 parts. I don't like their weapons. Do what you want with it. Alright, give it to me. I should be able to synthesize a simple turret out of it.
Machine gun turret with modified URNC firearm. When deployed, can be controlled remotely for either offensive actions or repairs. Normal attacks deal 55 damage to selected enemy unit. Turret online. Dusty! Can I give it more AP? Recover, repair, stealth, attack. It doesn't look like I can do much more. It's like these guys are begging for a frag grenade. missed in battle allied units can accumulate skill points by defeating enemies which allows for the usage of powerful skills Take out Commando in one hit. Hmm. This does fifty five damage, which is not enough. I think the way to save her would be to make a couple of trip mines and try and ruin their turn. stand on that tile to heal her either. Oh, I can heal remotely. Okay. That should do it. Hopefully he gets knocked over. He would be killed. This is just a, a goon, so it shouldn't be too 
dangerous. We'll see though. There we go. Oh, he's still got a shot off. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Not much time left. We break through from the north to catch the refugee transport. Okay, that's a lot of guys. Hailing, Team 3, found anything to the south? We need a vehicle. A snowmobile. We can use that. It's insanely loud. Are you mad? Beats running on foot. We have another 80 km to cover. It's all over if we get caught here. Run for it! You know how to drive this thing? It's part of my training, but I might need your help. I got shot. The injuries aren't severe, but the bleeding may affect my ability to concentrate. Idiot, why were you so careful? Treat your injury right now. Don't let them get away! Oh yeah! That was tough! Toughish! Ironically, the stealth bit was the easy bit. <laughs> Potential key plus five. Hmm. She asked if he's okay, by the way. That's what the Japanese was. This is like the worst translation ever. Ah, once we've shaken off their pursuit, the URNC has placed the entire region under lockdown. Right now we have targets painted on our backs. Might be safer to go through the woods quietly. That does sound less ridiculous than confronting enemies. Forget about Crane, he can't save you now. I don't think the snowmobile can last that long anyway. Let's return it to the UNRC if they want it. Now's the time to break through their line of defense. Boom. Bah, it's really Terminator style music there. Okay. Smoke grenade is now available. Soporic dot is now available. Gene enhancement unlocked. Item synthesis unlocked. Weapon preparation unlocked. Okay, and that's it for now because we're out of time. This is a really good game. <laughs> so far, I'm enjoying it. It's challenging, but uh, not unforgiving, at least so far. Okay, we'll have a look at the, uh, the skill system.
Okay. We'll have, yeah, we'll have a look at all of this. Next time. That is it for now. I will see you guys then.